In this video, I want to show you a set of active shutter glasses, the 3D ones that you use for television that I've hacked to uh, blink along with light glasses. So in this case, I'm feeding the Proteus. This is 0 0.6 hertz, so you can see it uh, blink slowly. Let's turn it up a bit. We'll see how far we can go on the camera. Let's go up to 1. So there it is blinking at 1 hertz. So obviously you put these on and then you have some open eye stimulus. And then we'll go to 2 hertz, 1.5, 2 hertz. This works with our other machines, the Casina as well, through audio strobe through my workstation or any other of our devices, um, spectroscope would work. But audio strobe's fine. Let's go on up. I'm not sure what the limits of the camera are. There's 2.5. There's just over three. It's still reading good. Let's go on up to five. There's 5 hertz, still visible to the camera. So obviously it's an interesting experience while you're wearing them. Um, can be a bit disorienting at first, but it's rather nice, especially, you know, watching, say, TV or movie or reading. Uh, it just gives you open eye stimulus much better than any of the light glasses that are attempting open eye. Let's go on up. Let's go to 7.8. So there you go. It'll become increasingly harder to see the flicker time, the on and off time becomes less and less. Now certain waveforms work better than others. Square waves, which is what this Proteus is putting out, work really well. Sawtooth wave with a bit of offset works really well. Sine wave, not so much. On slower frequencies, it's fine. On fast frequencies, not as much. Let's go on up. Let's try 10, see if we can still see that. It's 10.1. Yeah, you can still see it. So there you go, there's active shutter glasses. And depending upon the setting, you know, 15 hertz, like you can't see that at all here. I can still visually see it a bit when I'm wearing the glasses. Um, let me go down a little bit, 13. Hard to do that with one hand. All right, there's 11, and we'll climb from there. 12. So about 13 or so, kind of the limit that what you're going to see on here. But this is actually a really easy hack. Those are the glasses. And as I said, it's a it's a easy hack to do if you have electronics knowledge. This is the cable coming out of the top. It goes to a just a stereo jack, and I have a, a extender on it with a right angle connector that goes into the uh, Proteus or into any of the My Place My Machines. And actually, this is kind of hard to take out because of the stupid Radio Shack jack. So that's one reason I did it, too. So when I put it into the Proteus, it wanted to stick, you know. So that was the Radio Shack jack. Jack works fine, as you see. It works just fine. Let me 
take a sun down. Again, one hand is hard. Mm. Got to push two buttons on the Proteus, but you can see that it works fine and comfortable enough, no problem. So that's my hack of active shutter glasses for my machines. Pretty cool.